Japan's number one selling Toyota happens to be the cool cab of choice. Prius Taxi is all over Tokyo's roads. Thousands of people climbing in and out of the new Prius all day and all night. Taxi driver Kunitoshi Shinji is on the night shift, driving one of the tens of thousands of the 2010 Priuses without the fix. I haven't had brake problems, says Shinji, who adds he's a big fan of the Prius's gas mileage. His worry is on the impact to his business. I'll be in trouble if customers are afraid to use my taxi because of all this negative news, he says. Most passengers we spoke to don't worry about it, but at least one passenger does. I would think twice before getting into a Prius taxi, says Noriyuki Mayakawa. I wouldn't want to get into an accident, even if it's a one in a million chance. It's that small chance of a split-second brake failure that's led to the onslaught of negative Prius press. When you boil it down to the numbers, the Prius problem is relatively small. We're talking about a few hundred thousand vehicles, maybe between the U.S. and Japan, that are affected, that are currently on the street. But analysts say a ding into the Prius image could have a major impact on Toyota's future. Financially, damage might be relatively small, but probably more damage on the brand image, what Toyota's green car strategy. Shinji says he'll keep on driving the Prius and get the fix when Toyota calls, willing to give the automaker some time to get his future back on track, hoping for his taxi business's sake that it's sooner rather than later. Kyung Law, CNN, Tokyo.